Hello and welcome to your fourth scripting tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about variables. So um, yeah, let's get started what variables actually are. So a variable is basically like, think of like a box that holds information. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically what a variable does. It's a, it's, just, it's something that holds in information. So um, let's get started and let's, let's, let's make a variable first. So first you need to give a name to your variable. So you can you can name your variable anything you want, like absolutely anything, as long as it doesn't turn up in blue. So say I named it this, you can see it's gone blue. You can't have a variable with that's gone blue. If it's gone blue, you can't have it as a variable. So let's give it a different name. Let's call it my variable. If I spell variable. Here we go. My variable. And let's Okay, so this is the name of the variable, okay? That's the name. That's how we're going to access it uh, through the script. So now we need to give it a value. We need to give the variable information. And to set information to a variable, we just use equals. So this equals is going to assign a value into this variable. So we're going to give this a value. So let's set the value to the number 10. Okay, so now this variable here called my variable has the in has the value of 10 because we just assigned it the value of 10 okay and to prove that remember the print function in the last tutorial we're going to print out print out my variable okay so here we go we've got the variable name here we've set the value of the variable to 10 and now we're going to print out this variable here. So this should print out the number 10. If we look down here, press play, 10. Okay, and that's the same thing as doing this. Except we've stored this value 10 inside a variable. We can, we can have another variable called peaspod equals 5. You know, I want to be 15. No, I'm 16. Okay, piece pod equals 16, and we can print piece pod here. Actually, let's print piece pod above here. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to print piece pod first, which should be 15 for 16, and then it would print my variable, which is 10. So what it should do is it should print 16, then 10. So let's do it here. See that? 16, then 10 in the output window. Okay, so that is how to print variables. Now, you, variables, they don't only have to be number values. You can set all sorts of values to variables. Now, that was an example of an integer value. An integer is a, it's a whole number, basically. So that's what an integer is. An integer is a, any, any whole number without decimal points. Now, let's say we wanted to store a text value into the variable. So let's create another variable called uh, hello, hello equals peacepod. Okay, here's the variable name. The name of the variable is hello. We're giving it the value of peacepod. So let's print hello. It should print the word peacepod into the output window. And look at that. It's done it. Okay, so there, that's how variables work. It's basically something where you can store information inside it, and you can store any any type of information inside it. Okay, you can also store. Um, yeah, there's also another data type. So we've gone over the integer data type, which is any whole number. We've gone over the text data type, which can store. Well, not text. It's actually called string. Um, yeah, anything that holds any symbol really, any symbol on the keyboard, so numbers, letters, symbols, anything like that, you put it in quotation marks and that's called a string data type. So yeah, that's a string, so we've just printed a string here. There's, an, there's another data type which is the boolean data type and booleans can only hold two values, either true or false. So if I set the variable hello to true, 
this would now be a boolean data type because it's holding the value true which booleans hold. Booleans could hold either true or false which is basically yes or no so yeah true is yes false is no and yeah that's what booleans do and yeah I'll be showing you how to use booleans later on in well, a few more tutorials so yeah if I was to print hello it's it, so yeah hello is equal to false let's print hello let's see what comes out of there false okay we just printed false so that is what the data types do you can store strings integers or booleans and there's also another data type you can store you can store objects which I'll show you in a few more tutorials not not today and yeah there's also one more uh, data type I wanted to show you which is a decimal data type it's basically like a num like an integer but it can store decimal points so you can store let's make another variable hello it's called and let's set the value to 5.5 .5. yeah that'd be a decimal but yes yeah, so there's any any number basically any number you can store in there okay so if you also go to insert basic object you can see that you can find uh, let's find it int int value here which is basically integer integer value so let's double click integer value let's close that here it is this is an int value and you can set the value to anything you want it basically like it works like um, setting a variable in a script so we've got the variable name we've assigned it a value of 50 this here integer value here we've inserted it into the workspace it basically works like setting in a script except this is what's called a global variable it basically means you can use it in any script created in the game whereas if I set a value if I set a variable inside this script so if I set a variable like this then I can only use it in this script I can't I can't set a, va a variable here called hello and you and say I create another script so let's go ahead and create another script okay here's our second script I can't use the variable hello in my second script because this variable here is local to only this script and I can't use it in any other script but if I have an integer value like this here let's name this hello as well this this is a global variable and I can use this variable in any script I can use this variable here I've set this to a value of 50 as well I can use this variable here in this script and this script by accessing it like this game dot workspace dot hello dot value okay that is how I access this global variable this is a variable it's in the workspace so I go to game dot workspace the name of it is hello so I go dot hello and then to get the actual value of it I put dot value and I can set the value to anything I want so 20 yep so that's that's, that's basically how I do it um, and I can print it as well I can print I can print game dot workspace dot hello dot value first let me go to this one and okay so I can print this global variable I can print the value of it now that I've set the value to 20 it should print 20 yeah it's printed 20 so we set yeah so that's how global variables work you just insert basic object and you can insert anything you can insert integer value you can also insert string value like I've shown you um, string values any symbol symbols characters uh, or numbers in a string so string values can be anything in int value can only be a whole number number value here can be a decimal point and bool value here boolean can either be true or false so let's go ahead and enter a boolean value double click it and put it drag it into the workspace click on it you can even see class name bool value and value is a little checkbox here true by ticking it and false by unticking the checkbox and you can access it the same way as I've accessed the integer value uh, let's give it a name first my bool value 
just copy and paste its name. I can access it the same way. Game the workspace dot my build value equals true, and I can print it the same way. Game print game dot workspace dot my build value dot value. Okay, so that is how you access global variables. You can use them in any script, but if you were to create a local variable like hello equals fifty, you can only use it in this script, and you can't access it in another script. So print hello. I can't print. I can't print hello in my second script here. Oops. Yeah, I can't print hello in my second script here because here it's a local variable. I can only use it in this script. So yeah, that's how variables work. Basically, just something which stores a value, and that's how they work. Um, you'll be learning how to use variables properly later on in the tutorial series but for now that's all you need to know that's how variables work you need to know the data types of integer string boolean and yeah and how they work and just how to create variables and what local and global are so yeah that's how they work so yeah in the next tutorials i will be showing you how I will be showing you more more on variables, but for now that's all. Okay.